Hi everybody, Derek for Camper Club here. And if you camp in a tent or a camper that doesn't have a water heater in it, you probably try to think of some ways to heat water up to do things such as wash your camp dishes, or maybe you have a camp shower and you'd like to take a nice hot shower. Well, there's different things you can do. Uh, you can buy one of those tankless water heaters that uh, has like this little contraption that you plug, uh, connect a couple of hoses into it, and then you also connect a propane tank to it and it feeds water through and as it's going through the contraption there it heats up the water and you have a continuous uh, stream of hot water. Uh, those are cool but uh, it, there's a lot involved to have to pack and plus they could be a little pricey. You could also heat water up over a fire but unless you're just going to heat up a little bit of water it might not be practical for a shower. So what we use or one of these. It's a submersible water heater that you can put into a bucket of water or a jug of water. It's quick, easy, inexpensive, and I'll show you how it works. If you've seen the video on my channel of our camp shower setup, you know that this is what I use to heat up our water with. And this is what I heat the water up in. And if you haven't seen the video, trust me, this is what I use. Okay, well I got my seven gallon jug filled up with water and I'm gonna put the heater into it. Now make sure you put the heater into it before you plug it into the power. And when you're gonna remove it, make sure you unplug it from the power. So I got it in there. Plug it into the power. All right, so the cool thing about the heater that I got is it came with a digital thermometer so you could monitor the water temperature. Uh, supposedly, uh, this will get up um, hot enough to boil. I've never tried that before. So you are gonna have to keep an eye on it. I'm just going to bring the water temperature up to about 104 degrees. That's what I use for our camp shower. Right now it's at 67.6 .6 degrees. And I'll start the timer here. And All right, five minutes in, we're up to 77.7 degrees. And... Uh, of course, obviously, if you start off with a colder temperature, it's going to take longer to get up to the temperature that you want. So if you're getting the water from a hose that comes out of the ground, it's going to be colder water. So you might want to have your water set up for a while and get it at least to um, the air temperature. But so far, so good. And we'll see how long it takes okay, to get up to the temperature. Okay, it's been for 10 and minutes and we're up back to 86.5 degrees. So... It's not like a really, really quick process, but it isn't too bad. Oop, don't look now, but uh, we're up to 95.7 degrees with 15 minutes in. We're almost there. Hooray, we made it 104 degrees in 20 minutes. So in about 20 minutes, that little heater raised the water temperature um almost 40 degrees and yep certainly feels like 104 degrees in there so great job now as i mentioned earlier i'll unplug the heater from the electricity before i take it out of the jug so i just took the heater out of the water and uh oh it's uh you can easily touch it it doesn't feel really hot so uh, no worry there. So there you have it. This is what we use to heat our water up to take showers with or to do dishes with. Of course, one drawback is you do have to uh, have electricity to do it. So either plug it into an outlet somewhere or into your generator. But other than that, this is a great option. Uh, certainly doesn't take much to pack up. Just this and your jug and you're good to go. So thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel.
See you next time.